You snitched on your boy in prison. I know you're selling bricks. <laughs> All right. On deck is my guy, Connor. But right now, give it up for a very talented individual. I always look forward to his sets. Leo Bird. Woo, Leo! bananas with apples and oranges, they ripen faster. Also, the banana hanger looks neater than leaving it on the table. because rock climbing is my favorite sport and it covers favorite rock climbers like Alex Honnell and it gives rock climbing tips. You reminds me of Hayward Banks. I asked for a new bathroom rug because when my mom saw my current bathroom rug, she thought it needed a to be washed even though I had just washed it. I asked for the book Parenting with Love and Logic because I asked my aunt how to be more assertive with children and she, and she recommended the book to me Even if I never become a parent, I will be expected to play with my nieces and nephews, and it would open up the doors for volunteering opportunities like supervising children or the teaching profession that has been recommended to me. I asked for an ice cube tray because my 
freezer is broken with the ice cube maker and the ice cube tray would be cheaper than having to fix it all the time. I did I think that I did a good job of making the list because I ended up getting most of the presents on the list. And my mom also got me this George Bush painting book. And I and I think that he draws a lot like me. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Right. Yo, the theme for tonight's music was uh, Disney songs. But how about Leo got the craziest walk on? <laughs> if I was blind and I heard someone was coming up named Leo Bird, I would think he was fucking Chichala or some shit. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we're down to our last two. <laughs> Can we, can we put our next? Can we put us this song? <laughs> well, they had African women and everything. Sure All right, uh, on deck is Aloe Mean, <laughs> but up right now, give it up for Connor. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> more in the new year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying fuck a lot tonight. So All right. Deal with it, Jeff. Woo! So I'm, I'm fucking going at it. All right. Get ready, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, does anyone know, have the answer to this question? I feel like I, I, I've asked it a couple times and haven't really gotten anything, but I feel like I feel like people might know tonight. Does all come taste the same? No? Do, do, there's differences in cum flavors? Is it like pretty, is it like a pretty stark difference? No? Like so, it's like a subtle difference? Because I've tried my own cum before. That's, 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 that's where I'm going with this. And uh, it, just, it just made me think that, uh, that maybe I should change some things in my diet. Maybe cut back on my cheese and salt intake. Is uh, this is kind of necessary? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, been, I've been eating a lot of cheese lately. Uh, condoms? Do you guys wear condoms? Yes. 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 yes yeah. I'm looking for some booze on that. Oh. If you wear condoms, you're s stupid. This isn't. This isn't the '80s anymore. You can't get STDs. That's you know that's not something you gotta worry about since like forever. Uh, I've made Cooper leave now. Okay, but see, I, when I first started wearing condoms, we had an issue where uh, the condoms would break every single time. They broke every single time. Cheap ass condoms. They no no. Uh, well, we had a couple theories. And her theory, it's her theory, not my theory, and this is why it's funny. She was like, well, maybe it's just because your dick's just too big, and my pussy's just too tight, and that's why they're breaking every single time. No, it turns out you can't leave condoms out in the hot sun. You can't leave them in a backpack out in your car at 80 degree weather, because they will melt. Just so you know that. Um, have you ever realized how Iowans really got a stretch for things to brag about? Like, other, other states have like cool national parks, they got cool cities, um, and we're like, yeah, well we have the best gas station pizza. Wow. Oh. <laughs> so much as have uh, like a celebrity pass through our state, we do not let you forget it. Take for example the town of Winterset, Iowa. 
Winterset, Iowa is the birthplace of none other than John the Duke motherfucking Wayne, right? He was Woo. born there. He was born there. He, was, he did not grow up there. He was born there. And they do not let you forget it. There's two streets in the whole town. Uh, the first street is called John Street. The second street is called Wayne Street. Um, their school mascot, John Wayne. Um, every little, little shop, every little restaurant, they're selling John Wayne knickknacks. Now here's the issue I have with this. John Wayne played Genghis Khan. Now, Genghis Khan is a Mongolian guy. John Wayne, not a Mongolian guy. So we need to cancel the entire town of Winterset, Iowa. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get everybody on horses with flaming arrows and just have a good old-fashioned Mongolian raid through the town. And that's how we're going to cancel the entire town of Winterset, Iowa. It's a stupid, pointless town. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Have you ever realized how there's like a hundred thousand horses on the planet and zero, zero practical purposes for any of the horses? They are completely antiquated. Oh, well how do I move my green? Get a tractor, you stupid bitch. Oh, how do I travel long distances? Get a fucking car, okay? The, the, I mean, how much horsepower does a car have? Like 200? Something like that? Horses, one. <laughs> one horsepower. Okay? Um, oh, what about show horses? What about race horses? There's, there's, there's... Listen, listen. That's some billionaire, eyes wide shut, Illuminati shit. We're, ne we're never going to understand race horses. Are, and is anyone here going to go to a horse race? No. No, we're not. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be too mean on that, but I, nah, that's, that shit's for billionaires. Um, let's see, what else do I got? How's everybody been doing? Woo! Yeah? Yeah? Did everybody have a good Christmas? Woo! Yeah? Okay. Um, oh, taking care of yourself. Have you realized how 20th century taking care of yourself is? I don't, you don't need to take care of yourself anymore. They're gonna, they're gonna be able to build fucking any shit replacements for us. Like, oh, oh, you better, you better turn the music down so you don't destroy your ears. Bitch, I'm gonna have fucking <laughs> robot ears that'll let me hear ants fucking, okay? <laughs> oh, you better, be, better take care of your joints. Better, better, better be careful around your joints. You don't wanna have bad joints like that. Motherfucker, I can't hear you over the sound of my exoskeleton. Uh, God damn it, that's all I got for you folks. Thank you so much. Well, give it up for Connor. Great job. This man said his comms keep breaking. I was like, my boy got that. <laughs> Dang, all right, I see you. What? He was like, nah, science. All right, last comedian. <laughs> Woo! Got champion on his on his hoodie. Oh. He's the people's champion. <laughs> Give it up for Aloe Mean. Yeah. Hey guys. Woo! Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. Sorry I was late. Um, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it right now. I think this is gonna be my best set ever. <laughs> so she looks up at me right in the eyes and says, "Listen, little nigga, if you don't like tacos or dogs." I'm not your bitch! My middle school lunch lady there. She's a really nice Korean woman. From the south side, I think. She's not a fan of slow picky eaters. You guys, um... Goddamn. Tina Turner's scary. You're right, man. The, the, the artist is a little bit off on some of these. But I, I get what he's going for. Willie Nelson there. Tina Turner was like uh, Barack, uh, Baraka, what's the guy's name from Street Fighter? <laughs> she scared the shit out of me just now. What's love? All right, I'm gonna go back to my act. You guys, I was uh, fat shamed the other day by myself. <laughs> it's really passive aggressive to the way it happened. See, I was at the gym and I was lifting at the gym, upper body day, and I was feeling real jacked. 
everything tight, chest, back, arms, shoulders, everything real tight. You ever come from the gym and you feel like you're the rock, but deep inside you know you're more like the sponge? <laughs> anyway, I go home, I take a shower, and I get out the shower, I go to the mirror and wipe the steam off the mirror. Swipe, swipe, and that's where I fucked up right there. Second swipe. I usually just do one swipe. All I need to see is head and shoulders. Anything more than that will mess up what I got going on inside for myself. You see that second swipe happen, and I stopped moving, and my midi kept shaking, and it fucked me up. Now, if you don't know, a midi is a man titty. I've had them all my life. When I was a boy, they were biddies. But now that they have hair on them, they're middies. You understand? I don't want to talk about it. My midi kept shaking. Here's where the passive aggressive fat shaking happened. Without even thinking about it, I leaned into the mirror and I went, <sighs> and I re steamed the mirror. So I, I had seen too much. You know what? Fuck it. I shouldn't have any fat shaming going on. I was born and raised right here in Iowa. And I don't know if you guys notice about this great state of ours, but we are number one in two things and two things only hog production and corn production. Now, the hog production, it speaks for itself. You are what you eat. And I love bacon and fried pork fritters like everybody else. Corn production, you might be saying to yourself, corn on a cob never hurt anyone. Well, I would say to you, that's not the kind of corn we grow here, dummy. We grow our corn for ethanol and food product. And I don't mean just corn tortillas, corn flakes, or corn chips. I'm talking about high fructose corn syrup. Obesity's best friend. So in Iowa, we shouldn't fat shame anyone. We should actually be fit shaming people. So if you have a six pack, you're not supporting the local economy, are you? You need to get the hell out. Take that shit to Southern California for your good choices, your kale, your quinoa, Pilates, CrossFit. Maybe CrossFit out there. So I'm married. Nice. You guys are good people here. I was in Rock Island and they were like, sorry when I said I was married. It's fucking degenerates. They're probably right, though. I don't know if you can tell, if you can see my black wedding band, it might kind of blend in with my skin a little bit. More so in the summertime, if I'm out in the sun a lot, I tend to get real dark. You ever heard the phrase, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice? This guy has. Mm -hmm. Well, in the summertime, my juice goes from Capri Sun to Ghetto Kool-Aid. Yeah. I'm sure most of y'all never had Ghetto Kool-Aid, so I'll tell you this, from the months of June through September, if I come in your mouth, Instant diabetes. Because <laughs> that's how dark I get. My juice gets that sweet. That I don't even come semen, it's just high fructose corn syrup. I know what you might be thinking besides you. But no, I didn't choose a black wedding band so I could hide it. I'm not trying to be a creep or nothing like that. I actually chose a black wedding band because I was in mourning for my dick. It's not you know what? I'd like to give you guys some advice. This is very valuable advice that I shouldn't even tell you guys, but you're here and I appreciate it. So I'm going to give you this free advice. Just keep it between us, though. Don't twit it. Don't gram it. Don't book it or talk it. Just keep it in your head. Here it is. Free, valuable advice for all of you. Suck my dick. Yeah! <laughs> That's if you ever want to interrogate me. It's not going to be easy, though. I don't come fast from fellatio, okay? It takes me a while. But when I do finish, I'm honest Abe, honest owl. I cannot tell a lie. During my refractory period, <laughs> you will get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth for five minutes. Twelve if you fix me a sandwich. <laughs> I will tell you shit that I didn't even know I knew. I'll tell you real facts that I'm not even currently aware of. The only downside is it's going to take 45 minutes to an hour of work. If my wife was more ambitious and asked the right questions, we would have a 